Hi everyone. Welcome to Tuesday's Tips with Laurie. First of all, I want to say Happy Thanksgiving to those of you who celebrate Thanksgiving and hopefully you'll have a great weekend and the Black Friday sales. Gotta hit those quilt shops, right? To today, we wanted, I had somebody that sent a question on Facebook. It was a great question because we've, we've shown fringe before and I've shown how to fringe flowers, but fringing the uh, fur or the pine needles is really a little bit different than on the flowers. And so I wanted to show you that technique today because um, I know a couple people had maybe mentioned that they were uh, wondering if they, they were supposed to um, pick or unpick the, the satin stitch on the bow, but we, we don't want to do that. We want to just hit the green. So I'm going to show you. This is uh, one that's already been fringed. And look how pretty you can take the same uh, pattern and design and do it in a six by 10 hoop. And look how pretty and precious that is for Christmas. Okay, to start with then, I've got it stitched out and it's in the hoop still. If it's better for you to take it out of the hoop, to cut the back, you can do that too. You don't have to uh, keep it in the hoop. I'm just gonna keep it in the hoop just so it, it will stay taut for me. So you can zoom in a little closer. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, this is turned over, this is the front, this is to the back. If when you're cutting, you're accidentally cutting through your stabilizer, then maybe you might wanna take it out of the hoop. It might be too tight for you. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is just collect the little white bobbin threads that is in between the white bobbin threads that's in between this part and the green. See that? Maybe I might take mine out of the hoop. It's a little bit tricky. And then we're going to go clear up around the, the end here. So I'm just going to do a few at a time. And just a few more at a time. And see how it's releasing those those loops. And then I'm going to go back down the other side. And it turns the corner. All right. And then you can see that those have been released. Now I'm going to flip it over. And you can see that those are the loops then that get free. That's what we're after right there. Right here. See how that fringed? So it, it, it can be a little bit confusing because it, it does. It wraps around in a little U formation there. For example, this one is just this straight little piece right there. And then I'm going to jump across and go down this one. And for example, on this one here, I'm just getting that and then I'm going to loop up around. So what happens if you can see in here it's really kind of hard to see where those white stitches are in this particular uh, particular one so what you're going to try to do is stay as close to those white stitches as you possibly can and sometimes where it's harder to see where they are they're usually closer to the inside than they are to the outside of those stitches there you go. Now let's flip it over and see if that we can fringe. Let's see if I can remember which ones I cut. How about that? And if you have a section that's not coming loose, like right here, it's not coming up for me. So I'm going to flip it back over and I'm going to say, oh, I see that I missed the little white bobbin threads on those. And once you get those loose, um, sometimes there's a white thread that will be looped right through those loops. If you can get rid of that little white thread, then it'll come right up. And that is how you fringe the little boughs of holly. And then you can see on here, they've, we've added buttons as the cute little berries. Isn't that adorable? So that is fringing just the boughs in a nutshell, in a little berry shell maybe. Anyway, I hope you have a great Tuesday and a great weekend, and I will see you next Tuesday. Thank you.